hello everyone we will continue that topic translation of pdf form or adobe form and in the previous video we studied that translation of text module which we are using in the adobe form or pdf form now we will learn that translation of include text which we are using in smart form or which we are using in PDF form or Adobe form. Previously, yes, we already covered this topic as a part of smart forms playlist. At that time, we were using include text in smart form also. Now we are using include text in Adobe forms also. Now, if you see, we have this text one. This text one is a include text and this is the name of the include text. If you remember, we are always, always creating the include text through SO10 transaction code. If I will give the name of the include text which we created, This was the name of the include text. We gave the text ID and language and we simply, simply provided the text. If I will show you the text, the text is sales order details. If I will go to change item, sales order details. If I will go to layout, firstly, I will confirm I'm in change mode or not. Yes, now I am in change mode. I will go to layout. Now we will display sales order details through include text. Now in this particular sub form, previously we took text module. So I will delete this text module. Now we will go for include text. Include text is text one. I will drag and drop. I will remove this and I will go for appearances none. I will save. I will close and activate. Now if I will run So whatever the text we are getting, that is through now include text. This sales order details is now through include text. Now we need to do the translation. Now we will not go for SC63 to do the translation. Same thing we did in smart form also. Now, if you want to go for translation of include text, we will go to SO10 transaction code only. SO10. Previously, you created the text into English language. Now, we will simply, simply create the text into which language? In German language. It is very important point. Anyone can ask in the interview, are you using SC63 for the translation of include text? Answer is no. With the help of SO10 only, we can create the text into other languages also. Have you seen other things are same to same? Just we change the language. I will go for create. Now we are creating the include text into German language. I will go to change editor. Simply I will copy this and paste here. I will save. So now I created the include text into German language also. Now we will see our English output should not impact. If I will go to SFP transaction code, 
if I will run this Adobe form in English language, it is perfectly fine. There is no problem at all. Now, if I will go for German language also, if I will log in into German, And if I will show you the output, still we will get in English language only. If I will run, if I will execute, still we have same to same English text, English text. Why? Same reason we covered in case of text module. Same reason is here also. If I will log in into English language. If I will log in into English language and go to SFP transaction code. Whatever the include text we are using, this is our include text. Just see what is the language as of now, EN. Now, rather than EN, we need to use this particular variable. And in the text module, we put this, when we cover the translation of text module, we simply, simply pass the system language to this particular variable. Now for the include text also, we are using this variable. I will activate. If I will show you the output in English language. You can see. In English language, it is perfectly fine. Now I will show you the output in German language also. Language DE. If I will go to SFP transaction code, I'm running same to same Adobe form or PDF form. If I will execute, you can see we got that translated text now. So what is the summary of the video? The first most important thing is yes, we never translate a include text through SC63. With the help of SO10 only, we will create the text into different language. We will create the include text into different language. But after that also, we are always getting the output which is maintained in the English language. So you need to change the language. We already have a variable. In that variable, you are passing the system language and we use that variable for include text also. So this is all about the translation of Adobe form or PDF form. Firstly, we did the translation of the simple, simple text, which we have written by our own. Then we studied the translation of text module. Then we studied the translation of the include text. So this is all about the translation of PDF form or Adobe form. So that's it in this video. Thank you.